Uh, today marks 80 years since the D-Day invasion on the beaches of Normandy, France during World War II. Uh, the heroes of that war, both those who died and those who survived, are being honored today in ceremonies in France. D-Day was the start of the Allied invasion against Nazi Germany that led to the end of the war in Europe. Elaine Cobb is in Normandy, France, where President Biden warned that democracy is now at risk more than any other point since World War II. President Biden and the First Lady bowed their heads in front of a wreath at the American cemetery overlooking Omaha Beach, where more than 9,000 U.S. soldiers are buried. Monsieur Bill Cassasa. Earlier, he was joined by French President Emmanuel Macron, who bestowed the Legion of Honor, France's highest award, on 11 U.S. World War II veterans. In memory of those who fought here, died here, literally saved the world here. Let us be worthy of their sacrifice. The president marked the 80 years since the D-Day invasion by saying the U.S. and its allies will not walk away from Ukraine as it continues to defend itself against Russia. We're living in a time when democracy is more at risk across the world than any point since the end of World War II, since these beaches were stormed. Before the ceremony, the president met with some of the men who survived World War II, all of them pushing 100 years old or even older. Onofrio Zikeri from Syracuse, New York, was 21 years old when he landed here. We landed and we had a crawl on the beach, really. I looked over and there's this GI. He was sitting on his helmet and he was holding his guts. The war brings nothing but misery, nothing but misery. With each passing year, fewer and fewer veterans remain to tell the world what happened that day. Elaine Cobb, CBS News, Normandy, France. Well, France did not invite Russia to the commemorations, even though it was a key ally during World War II. That's because of its war against Ukraine.